Hey everybody, Dr. Wessel Couch here with another Math and Minecraft episode. Today, we're going to answer a combinatorics question that involves counting sheep. And by the end of the episode, I bet some of you will have a new favorite number sequence. Alright, let's get started. In Minecraft, there are many different colors of sheep. The question we're going to answer is suppose you have n sheep. In how many ways can you partition these sheep? That is to say, in how many ways can we group the sheep such that each sheep is in exactly one group, there are no empty groups, and the order of the groups doesn't matter? Like most combinatorics questions, it's best to start with the simple cases before we try to find a general solution. So let's do that now. In the n equals 1 case, there's one way to partition the sheep. In the n equals 2 case, the sheep could be separated or they could be together. And notice in the case where they're separated, the order that they're positioned doesn't matter. So there's two ways when n equals 2. In the n equals 3 case, they could all be separated, or white and blue could be together with red on its own, or white and red could be together with blue on its own, or red and blue with white on its own, or they're all together. So that's a total of five ways. I won't list them all out, but you could see that in the n equals 4 case, there are 15 ways to partition four different colored sheep. And in the n equals 5 case, well, you could count them, there's 52 different ways to partition the five different colored sheep. And they're all listed here, believe it or not. So if we want to answer this for all n, we need to talk about a special sequence in combinatorics known as the bell numbers. So let's go to the whiteboard and talk about the bell numbers. The bell numbers are a famous sequence in combinatorial mathematics. Before I list the sequence, let me name a few objects counted by the bell numbers. If a number m is the product of n distinct prime factors, then the nth bell number gives the number of different multiplicative partitions of m. Additionally, the nth bell number counts the rhyme schemes of an n-line poem. The bell numbers also come up as the solutions of certain card shuffling problems, and the list goes on. The first few bell numbers are 1, 1, 2, 5, 15, 52. This is the exact sequence we found in the sheep partition problem, except we started at n equals 1. Clearly there is one way to partition 0 sheep. So our sequences match. The n plus first bell number satisfies the recursion b sub n plus 1 is equal to the sum from k equals 0 to n of n choose k times b sub k. Let's now prove that sheep partitions are counted by the bell numbers. To clarify, we want to show that the number of partitions of n plus 1 sheep satisfies the same recursion as the bell numbers. We've already shown that they have the same initial conditions. Consider an arbitrary partition of n plus 1 sheep. If we remove the set containing the white sheep, what remains is a partition of a smaller number of sheep. Let's call that number of sheep k. And k could be anywhere between 0 and n, including those values. There are n choose k choices for the remaining k colors of the sheep, and b sub k choices of how those remaining sheep are partitioned. Therefore, we have that the number of sheep partitions of n plus 1 sheep satisfies the same recursion as the bell numbers. So the number of sheep partitions are counted by the bell numbers. How about that? And there you have it. The number of ways to partition n different colored sheep is counted by the nth bell number. How about that? And speaking of bells, I think right now would be a good time to ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on a future episode. And smash the like button before you get out of here. 
and share this video with your friends. It will really help me grow my channel. All right, bye-bye.